we talk about material things and possessions, we're supposed to be talking about God tenfold, a hundredfold times that. You're supposed to be delighting yourself in the Lord. And when you delight yourself in the Lord, when he become the most valuable thing to you, which is supposed to be according to the commandments, love the Lord your God with what? With everything you got above everything else. Is don't worry about the problems that plagues people's lives in this world. Don't worry about things that you can't control. Why are you stressing yourself out over something that you can do nothing about? See, this is what God is saying. God said, go about getting things the right way. What is the right way? Doing what he told you to do and trusting in him. He guaranteeing it's going to come to you. Do everybody understand that? Shalom, Israel. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, Israel. Okay, okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Have a beautiful Sabbath. If you're shopping, please. We have much understanding that we uh, have to, you know, get out tonight. Um, so many things that we got to talk about. All right, so, um, you know, so many things. So little time, right? Um, I just want to, you know, let the warning out to, you know, whoever's left in the world. Anybody in here in the world? Huh? <laughs> Did I hear a cun? Huh? You ain't learned to leave the world yet. When I say leave the world, what am I talking about, Israel? What? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You still following the nations, Israel? You ain't learned that yet. Hmm? There's a there's a, a a crisis in the world right now, right? Right? And uh, people are panicking and they they're afraid. People are crying. Things that's happening. Things are happening to people that never happened to them before. It's unprecedented. And it's, it's happening all over the world, right? It ain't just happening in one part of the world, right? But it's happening all over the world, right? So what's, what's the message that's going out in the world? The leaders of this world, what message are they sending the inhabitants of the world? The leaders of the world, what message are they sending the inhabitants of the world? Uh, <laughs> see, you got you to gotta listen, you know. You got you to gotta listen to current events and you got to really look at what's going on. And this is to anybody that's left in the world that didn't get the message yet, okay, that the leaders have been, you know, uh, uh, telling everybody what to do without telling them what to do. In other words, what are you supposed to do with leaders? You're supposed to follow leaders. You're supposed to do what they do, right? Christ is the leader, right? And what did he say? He said what? Follow me, right? Right? So if anybody is still left in the world, they should know what they need to do. What they need to do? They need to jump ship. Okay? <laughs> they need to abandon ship, okay? You ain't know <laughs> You ain't know that's what the leaders of this world are doing? They jump in ship. They realize that, you know, they sinking. The world is going down, it's going under, and they're trying to save themselves. Look at what's going on. So if you left in the world, jump ship. They try to bail the world out, right? <laughs> and there's something the world needs to get bailed out. Jake got to get bailed out. You know? <laughs> now the whole world got to get bailed out, right? And showing you that there's no hope. With the bailout, what did they do? They gave themselves bonuses. The leaders of this world, right? Right? Because they knew that, listen, you know, this money ain't going to cause nothing to recover, but... I might as well take for myself. Now, if the leaders of this world have enough sense to know every man for himself, 
What's wrong with whoever's left? <laughs> What's wrong with the people that's left in the world? You don't know it's every man for himself right now? You don't know that? What's going on? The leaders of this world, they know something strange is happening. What's happening is the shaking of the hand of the almighty God. What that's called is the judgment of God on the world. Do everybody understand that? Which is going to bring them to their end, which is ushering them to the end of the world. Everybody understand that, right? Right along with prophecy. Because Esau is in power. And Esau is the end of the world. Everybody understand that, right? So Satan, what is he going to do? Satan know that when, you know, in their affliction, we're talking about the Israelites now, they're going to seek God. So what's Satan going to do? He's going to give them a false hope. Something else to believe in besides God. What did he give him? He stabbed Esau in the back and gave him a black president. <laughs> right? And all he could talk about is some hope that he don't even believe in. <laughs> you had the white man to come and tell him, listen, be more, be more confident when you speak. <laughs> you <know? laughs> all he could talk about is some hope that he don't believe in. And you got people, you got people among our tribes believing in the hope that Obama is pushing out there. Everybody understand that? Why? Because they don't know God. If you know God, you know that we at the end. This, this is the time. Okay, and these are the times that have been prophesied about. These are the times that we knew was coming prior to it being here. This is the time that we know God is among the nation of Israel and that God is bringing the Israelites back that he's looking to establish the nation of Israel while he's destroying this world. This is the time. Everybody understand that? And if you, ain't, if you are not smart enough to see or wise enough to see that you cannot be a part of this world any longer and it's time for you to choose the Lord's side, then you're going to get what you deserve. See, the Lord said the time is going to come when he's going to magnify the law. What law are we talking about? The law of God and make it honorable. You got people that walk around keeping the law of God and nobody cares. You got people that don't walk around keeping the law of God, and nobody cares. The Lord said the time going to come when whoever's keeping his law is going to be magnified, and he's going to make the law of God honorable. This is the time that we are in now. So if you're not keepers of the law of God, see, we can be Israelites, and we can hip-hop hooray, and we can say we're not in the world, but guess what? If you're here only, guess where you at? You're right there in the world. If you're a hearer, and not a doer of the word of God, then what makes you different than everybody else? The fact that you stood, you stood on the sidelines and waited to see what was going to happen, see who had the truth? No, nah, it don't work that way. See, you got to be a doer of the word of God. The scripture says faith without works is dead, which means what? Faith got to, got to produce. If you believe, then that means it's supposed to be a show, an open show of your belief or what makes you different from everybody else. You didn't jump ship yet? You didn't see that the boat was sinking? You don't see that it's going down and it's taking in water. You don't see that? Let's go to the book of Ephesians chapter 5. Like I said, we got much understanding to go through tonight. So try to keep your minds open. Because we got a lot of things that, that the Spirit of God want to come out tonight to the Israelites. Um, understand who we are. We are the Israelites. This is not no ragtag church on the corner. Everybody understand that? For those of you that thought you was coming to church... Wrong place. This is a nation. Everybody understand that? All 12 tribes, you got that? That's the church that was in the wilderness. You got duped into believing something that's not true. Let's go to the, the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and read the sixth verse. This is about Obama right here. For all you looking for Obama scriptures, it's right here. <laughs> Ephesians, <laughs> Ephesians chapter 5, and I'm going to need much tissue up here too, bro. I'm and much water, too. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6. Read that, please. Let no man deceive you. Read it again. Let no man deceive you. Read on. With vain words. With vain what? Words. Everybody understand that, right? See, don't let no man come up and tell you something different than what God told you, because then now that's vanity. That's vain. What is, what is Obama talking about in his administration? He's talking about hope. He's talking about change. He's talking about recovering and making a world even better than what it was before. It's not going to happen. There's no hope in the world. Hold that real quick and get the book of Ephesians chapter 2. Hey, now, we said the way we talk about it 
possessions, we're supposed to be talking about God tenfold, a hundredfold times that. You're supposed to be delighting yourself in the Lord. And when you delight yourself in the Lord, when he become the most valuable thing to you, which is supposed to be according to the commandments, love the Lord your God with what? With everything you got above everything else.